Inakuwaje watu wangu wa nguvu, mina ito presenter Ali, your entertainment PA, siku zote na TMD kwa kikisho kumba na kuletea stories tofauti. Zikiwe moza burudani, human interest stories na pia muda mungine na kuletea stories za mahusiano. Wana piga story na mwanangu nguvu, anaitua Alan Lawrence. Na kama kawaida, yuko ndani ya mjengo ni mkujana hapa kupiga story. Na inakuwaje bro? Niko salama sana, uh -huh. ya, labda urendelea aji. Mini kupoa, yeah. mashukuru mungu wanasaidia. Kabisa. Najue hizi story za mahusiano zina nisaidia sana siku hizi kwa sababu nipo ndani ya mahusiano. <laughs> yeah, and congratulations yeah. man once again. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Niko salama. Yeah, Mimi niko salama kabisa. Yeah. So leo ni ni, ni issue tu ambayo ilinikujia mm. ni wazo tu ambalo nimekuwa nikifikiria. Mm. Nikitaka tu kujua kuna relationships nyingi tumeziona mm. out there where people say kwamba we've been together for 30, 40 years, 50 mm. years, mm. 20 years, 10 years. Mm. Tumekuwa pamoja kwa miaka mitatu. Yeah. Alafu unakuja unashtukia wameacha kingdom wameporomoka eh, wa Kenya wame win ile watawachana tu eh wa Kenya wanashinda <laughs> so today i just felt like uh, mm. it's great if we just talk about how exactly do people have to make relationships work and last for long because at some point kama ili work for 5 years ina maanisha inaweza ika work for 5 more mm. and another 5 more mm. and another 5 more mm. and the moment it stops working ina maanisha kwamba pengine there's something yeah, yeah, someone yeah. was doing and they stopped doing yeah. so what are some of these things that people you know can do to make sure that their relationships work and last for long yeah interesting you know the first thing people need to understand relationship works and uh, for a relationship to work you have to put in the work mm -hmm. because love for one another does not guarantee a long-lasting relationship yes but the chemistry and the compatibility of the intrinsic personalities and the intrinsic value system that the two of you are coming whereby we are coming to complement each other not to compete yeah. so you realize that not unless whereby you go beyond the physique you go beyond how this person appears yeah. and look at something that is so inbuilt because i've said this if if this person does not feature anywhere in your future mm -hmm. no need to pursue them but if you date this person because of, of the future because you are looking at a bigger picture you want to accomplish yeah. so that is why no matter what happens you will be able and you you will, you will be willing so much to forgive this person because a relationship is for to forgive us and if you have a problem with forgiving never consider a relationship because every now and then your partner will have to break you you know mambo tu vidogo vidogo vitatokea mm -hmm. so you must reach to that point here yeah, ku ku ready to forgive this person at all given time so it is a question of you having a strong value system and uh, you dating and marrying this person because of their character and because of their personality mm -hmm. that is what makes it even work mm -hmm. even higher yeah so what are some of the character traits you know of people in a relationship that will actually mm. assure them that you know what yeah. this relationship will will have to work you see like uh, you realize in a kwanga in a relationship it is a question of uh, this person you know we are unique in our own diversity mm -hmm. so this person whenever they come with their differences you and you also come with their with your difference because it reaches to to that level in a relationship maybe you you are a person who is good at saving mm -hmm. and you are the other person is good at spending so you realize is that we need to work together as a team it is as united where whereby whenever there is a gap in this person i'll be able to fill the gap and whenever i fill the gap i, I like i i defend this person publicly and correct them with love in the private mm -hmm. so you realize this uh, this is a question of because people will tend to go to they will tend to pursue what they don't have so you have to know what you have and you have to know what you are you, you don't have so that you can get the person who can complement you who can be able to grow with you mm. yeah yes so so does that mean that someone has to really understand themselves in terms of i'm poor in making quick decisions i'm poor in this and that yeah. and when you're finding a partner those are some of the things you're looking for you, you say like i'm poor in making quick decisions and oh your partner wangu pia she's very poor mm. so that means we are we are not compatible you you see yeah uh, to, to some extent that's why i've said this mm -hmm. in this channel that um mm -hmm. The question begs, can you confidently date the person in the mirror? 
you get like if you are the other person on the other side of the table can you date the you why should i ask this people need to reach to that point of with your indifferences with your shortcomings what are you doing towards it remember a relationship is not a garage mm -hmm. for your badly for your bad manners <laughs> you, you understand you go and fix them yeah, yeah. A relationship won't fix it because mm -hmm. if you have an issue and you are not ready to face it mm -hmm. that is why it's people who have uh, have shortcomings and they are never real with themselves they run into a relationship the me say man every now and then that people treat a relationship as a rescue mission from themselves mm -hmm. so ile whereby i'm not comfortable in my own skin so i come to compound on this person so the way you are just saying i need to be real you know we ask ourselves some serious questions yeah. because it, it is so easy for me to blame another person it's so easy for me to pinpoint problems in another uh, in another person mm -hmm. but can i pinpoint problems in me mm -hmm. and what am i really doing towards this yeah you you get uh -huh. so where the same like let's say you are poor in 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 spending ama you are poor in saving then you just assume that this person will fix your issue mm -hmm. you have to be also intentional so that as much as this person anakuja you know it's it it takes a, a willing heart a willing personality so that we grow together yeah. i've realized my mistake okay so because you can never arrest what you caress okay so, hey, wow. <laughs> you can never arrest what, what you caress no now i want us to talk about something that i do believe that over 80 percent of women do fancy most women you know want a man who will always tell them that he loves them mm -hmm. who will always tell them that you know let, let me just summarize and say a man who is romantic exactly is that something that can, can guarantee you know a good relationship that it will last for long <laughs> that is why uh, I've, I've, you know relationship is not feelings relationship is a commitment you know like uh, today let me let me use this example Ali nikikuchapa hivi you felt the pain mm. does it mean i'm a bad person no so like uh, it is it is a question of if you use feelings to date a person and to commit yourself to a person feelings come and go feelings are very fickle they will come and go at some point but if you are committed towards uh, towards ensuring that you know what uh, this relationship must work so back to what you are just saying it is uh, you know ladies love the idea of love you get mm -hmm. and men we are project oriented at mm -hmm. all given time mm -hmm. so a lady will fantasize a lot about love that is why even you see the kind of movies they watch you see a lot of the people, kind of music they listen, they listen to, to yeah, they yeah. tend to fantasize so as a man when i come to her life i'm i'm here not to not to like uh, to make the the fantasy to be real mm -hmm. but to at least try to make her, fant her fantasies ikujenikama and I live into that fantasy so once you understand that this relationship is about the commitment mm -hmm. i'm committing myself that's why i may have said a relationship is like a self prison because mm -hmm. you are pushing yourself towards making sure that you please the other person because yes. it's no longer about you mm -hmm. you have to die to self mm -hmm. so that you can please the other partner yeah. so that means that uh, you have to commit as a man i have to commit and understand this lady's love language because sometimes you know i've said this it's like completing a wrong rest successfully so you ma no matter what you do <laughs> no matter what yeah. you do yeah. if this person this is not their love language they will never understand and they will never perceive the love yeah so you must understand what is the love language of this person mm -hmm. if this person is a gift person mm -hmm. by all means i have to like to strive so much okay to, to get gifts and it's not about even gifts mm -hmm. they how you just present the gifts to them yeah. that that matters and and you see like um, the way you are like let me use your example you see the way you've come out publicly and say that you know what uh my, like you and and and, and you are in, and my shemeji yeah, yeah so you've come out that one makes her world yeah you get like it gives her a lot of sense of security and that is what the ladies want they just want that idea of love okay to, you get so you must commit yourself you have to do things against even your wish just yeah. to please this person yeah. because even her she has to sacrifice to respect you she has to do everything to be with you wow and another another factor i really love to ask is uh you know how important is money in a making relation in making a relationship last because <laughs> because money is a factor at ways ikata mkiwa kwa relationship lazima mkule mkiwa kwa relationship lazima mspend mkiwa kwa relationship lazima mwe invest because there's there's a there's a research which was done some time back so she is ngakumbuka ni lini na ilionyesha kwamba most relationships are failing not because of of cheating not because of lying not because of disrespect but because of poor management of finances so how important is money 
in making a relationship last and is it a must pesa iwe ndo relationship i last you, you know it two things is it's about the the foundation of the relationship because if i approach this lady and showcase to her that uh, you know what i'm well i'm, I'm well i'm well moneyed i'm well i'm well to do so by the time that's why you know skenga ladies wana sema attitude two weeks during the the, the courtship up until two weeks during the dating this guy is gonna spoil after some time this guy is no longer spoiling and that is ni kama tu season ya campaign so you realize that it depends the foundation of the relationship but as much as love love uh, finance and romance plays a part so they correlate so you have to to understand and uh, work together because i've said this if you cannot plan together you chances are you cannot end up together okay. so in your financial life if this person can involve you and you be ready to grow together be, because if we are looking at spending the rest of my life with this person then i will engage them i have got not, i've got nothing to hide as in i'll tell them that this is my stand financially and what can we do as a team so that we can grow together oh. so this person will come as as a helpmate this person will come to complement you we grow together wow mm. and as i always say for more tips make sure you do subscribe kwa channel ya Alan Lawrence kwa sababu anakuwa na tips zingine kali anakuwa na tips nyingine nyingi sana za ajabu kuhusu mambo ya relationship thank you so much i do believe that hii ilikuwa just a tip of yeah, the iceberg yeah, yeah, kama sure, mtu sure. anataka kukonsult kama yeah. mtu anataka kutafuta yeah. na kucheki tu kupitia kwenye mitandao ya kijamii that is Alan Lawrence pia eh, nitaweka link channel yako yeah. most of the time huwa nasahau lakini oh, yeah, yeah. yeah but huwa uh, natia bidii sana kuhakikisha kwamba you know naiweka pale yeah. guys support him subscribe yeah. to his channel yupo hapa kwa ajili ya kutujuza tu mambo tofauti ya mahusiano each and every day uh, tulianza weekly sai tuna plan kuanza kuifanya daily so you guys tell us do you think we should be doing it every day mnaisi kwamba Alan Lawrence au anakuja kila siku at least kutu eh, kutu kutu, 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 kutu tu mambo tofauti kuhusu mambo ya relationship again thank you so much for your time Appreciate lakini that. najua lazima ukuage na ile lile neno la mwisho la kumalizia <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh, neno langu la mwisho for today nasema kwamba never ever ever compromise your standards and uh, never ever limit yourself because of love and never sacrifice your great potential on the altar of a wrong relationship because your destiny is pegged on the kind of a relationship you are into because you collect from where you are connected so ensure you connect yourself with the right environment wow. with the right personality wow you collect from where you, you are, are connected. connected so make sure you're connected with the right person mimi sina mengi ya kusema anasema tu asante sana kwa kuitazama hii video kama umetazama mpaka mwisho i say mimi nakupenda sana big shout out kwa mwanangu nguvu yuko behind the camera and it was Eric Mukabwa and it was Mr. Ali your entertainment PA the A is always for amazing na siku zote ukitaka kufanikiwa usipende kusiwa